I just need to talk to you real quick for a couple minutes here. I heard in a comment that people say they like my night videos, these real talk videos. And this epiphany came over me. I was just praying. And um, I like to, I pray in the shower. I, I like to put my face down when I'm done showering on the tile of the shower with the water running over me and like a habit. I always pray. And then if I've ever forgotten to pray and I go to step out the shower, I go, oh, 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 oh. I turn the shower back on and I put my face down on the tile and I pray. So it's a habit, right? And I asked God to, to wake me up. I said, I've been a good steward of all these things. When are you going to allow me to get to the next level? Right? Because I believe that all power and you comes from God, all the good stuff, right? That's my beliefs. And so here's was was as soon as I got out of the shower, I got this amazing epiphany came through me to tell you right now. The ship is sinking. The boat is sinking. The iceberg is coming. The flood is coming. The storm is coming. The flood is coming. What are you doing? What are you doing? Are you lying around scrolling on your phone? Because I'll tell you one thing. When it happens and it's all shown before you and it becomes clear that you let your family down and they're going down and you're going down with them because you weren't decisive. You weren't prepared. You didn't get up and fight every day the good fight and do everything that you had to do. I don't care if you got a couple grand in the bank and everything's okay. You're doing okay. One little tiny thing, you're going down. And it's not a matter of if, it's when. What about the people that need your help? What about the emergencies that haven't popped up yet? Are you really this comfortable living this far on the edge? What are you doing with your time? Think of the movie like Rocky, Rocky IV. He was getting up and running and working out and preparing for the fight. Are you standing your ground? Are you defending your territory? Hmm? What are you doing? You don't want to go back. Think about the hardest crap you've been through. The hardest jobs, the hardest freezing nights, the days in the 105 degrees. It was really hard and you got through it. The whole point is for you to fight and get so far ahead and so systematized and so organized that you don't have to go back to that unless you want to, unless you choose to consciously. But how long do you have to stay in survival mode until you level up your game? When are you going to stop feeling unworthy? When are you going to realize that you are worthy? If you don't feel worthy, forgive others, ask for forgiveness, communicate, and find the reasons why. <sighs> Give to the world what you've been denied. If you feel that you've been denied something and you want to know what your purpose is, maybe you felt abandoned or unloved, right? Give love. Give structure. Create structure for others. And be that foundation and that source of unconditional love and connection and guidance that you didn't have. There's your purpose. You got this. The definition of courage is your belief in your own ability to figure things out. Believe in your own ability to figure things out and start taking bets on yourself. Awaken the entrepreneur within. Every single minute counts. When I'm on my weekly pulse call, say with my Facebook ads guy, we have an hour to two hours, sometimes 90 minutes, but we have an hour. Sometimes I'm, there's an onboarding ramp to kind of pick up productivity. It can take me 15, 20 minutes to get my head in the game. 
Sometimes I'm upset, sometimes I'm depressed, sometimes I'm joking around. And I always notice that the last 15 minutes are the most productive. Then 10 minutes, then 5 minutes, 4, 3, 2, and at the last 5 minutes, we're like, we're not scrambling, but we're moving very, very, very quick. We're publishing the ads, we're changing things around, we're getting the URL, we're checking, we're duplicating audiences. This is Facebook ads, just one example. And it's so specific, down to the minute. And it goes 159, 2 o'clock. And I know that my Facebook ads guy that I'm paying a high rate per hour because he's an expert has another call waiting, another client. And whew, we get so much done. And then after the call, here's why I told you this. I go, why was I wasting the first 15 to 20 minutes? Every single minute counts. We could be so much further ahead. And luckily there's mercy. Luckily you have more chances because I'm the one paying flipping the bill. I'm the one paying, pay now or pay later, but check this out. Every time I get on a call with him, I'm getting better and better and better, right? And sometimes we're so freaking productive. When I do my other weekly pulse meeting with my team, um, there are times where we're highly productive. Sometimes part of the process is laughing and crying and emotions coming up and, and, and stuff that you haven't worked out. We call it brand therapy. And um, because when you're leveling up your life and leveling up your business and leveling up, leveling up your health, things will come up, blocks will come up, old negative beliefs or fears that you can't do it or that you're not good enough or imposter syndrome, all this crap comes up. And then for me, I have to work through it. Sometimes I get upset, I get frustrated, and I'm apologizing for like, um, just, I feel immature, because, and then I've cried, all these things, because it's me coming up against the emotional brick walls of my self-limiting beliefs. And then now my team will sit there and they'll, they will allow me to be me, so I can transition to the other side and have transcendence and get through right with courage and then boom we'll do something and it, and it works it doesn't always work but here's what i'm saying do you have people around you that you can totally be yourself around if you have people in your life someone in your life who you can't be yourself and you can't vent to you and you can't express who you really are and you feel judged by them like you're walking on eggshells you just can't share that part of yourself with that person and that person doesn't deserve to get that part of you they don't deserve to to for you to share that part of yourself with them because they don't honor that period go where you're celebrated not where you're tolerated and then there's negative victim-minded toxic people not sometimes but they're always negative and victim consciously spend less time with those people but catch them when they're doing good sometimes they're doing good then talk to them on the phone or take them out to eat or something like that and then when they're negative retreat because you only have so many minutes in a day and somebody else putting their monkeys on your back all the time. You can't be everybody's coach and therapist. I'm not afraid to reject one when I know that I serve many. So you gotta learn healthy boundaries. I was obsessed with healthy boundaries for such a long time because I didn't have any, I didn't understand how to say no to people. Now I've gotten very strong at saying no and being able to discern other people's bull crap from mine. Right, there's our bull crap, there's your bull crap, there's my bull crap, and it's just growth and maturity, right? So, there's a lot of growing pains, and the good side is the most beautiful blessing is that when you face them, you get to reap the rewards and benefits. Materialistic benefits and financial benefits are a tiny microcosm of what I'm talking about. I'm talking about, um, for the most part, because we have good days and bad days as a man. Something happened to me that is, I will not trade for anything. When I'm standing right here on this floor, I can feel my feet on the ground. I can feel my body, I'm in my body, in my mind, but connected. See, when I was in my 20s, I was a disconnected and I was just like a, an endless thought stream of ambitions and like I couldn't get into my body. Does this make sense? Like I would uh, see 
say, a very mature, conscious, alpha male, masculine, successful male, like an Eben Pagan, right? This guy is not like big and buff like McConnor McGregor or something like that. He's just, look up Eben Pagan, he's, he's an internet marker, a guru. He's just a thin guy who's like a, like a vegetarian vegan, but he's made like hundreds of millions of dollars and he's like one of the most conscious people on the planet. But when he talks, he's so completely connected and centered. And I say, how do you do that? One of many examples. It's like um, meditation. You could meditate to the point where you actually lose all desire for anything because it's so peaceful just being rooted in consciousness that you don't have any desires left. But that's a beautiful place to be because then you can get more clear. And clarity is about clearing all the crap away. So stop scrolling endlessly on social media. Um, stop consuming garbage information. Get really freaking clear this year about what is your purpose. There's a saying that I love and I'll end with this. Lock yourself in a room with a notepad and a pen and do not come out until you know your purpose. And then there's another saying that I love. Um, once you learn what your purpose is, it becomes almost impossible. Oh, once you learn what the truth is, it becomes almost impossible to do anything else. <sighs> Let's do it. You got this. I'm fired up. Let's do this, man. This is your year. This is your time to shine. Take a bet on yourself. And um, let me know in the comments below. Peace.